Sprinter here says, give Mike his props for being a prognosticator. Yes, Mike is correct. We are not at the bottom of the barrel, or we weren't when we were at one point. Eight million or one point nine million or whatever. We have set a new record low for Raw on Monday night. One point six eight million. That's the average. That's not even like the third hour. That's the average for the show. One point six eight million. It was down seven percent from the prior week's record non holiday low. And it broke the all time low of one point seven eight million set Christmas Eve twenty eighteen as well as the non-holiday record low of 1.82 million set last week. So they they set a record last week, and now this week they set the record again. Dropping 18 to 49, 9% in viewers. 18 to 49 rating was 0.46, putting the show fourth place for the night on cable. It was 24th for the night, which is a better finish than it had been doing. Only 90-day finance on TLC beat Raw in total viewers among non-news programming. Drop during the show, 14% was normal. The story wasn't the show itself turning off viewers as much as no one showed up at the beginning. The first hour of Raw did 1.81 million viewers. This is the second lowest first hour of all time. The second hour, 1.69 million. The lowest second hour of all time. The third hour, 1.55 million is the lowest ever. We are we are approaching we are approaching impact territory here with raw. Uh, these numbers are awful, but I think someone did the stats on the board. Uh, raw is down 25 percent. AW is down 23 percent. I forget what NXT and and SmackDown are, but I mean obviously everybody is being affected by the coronavirus, but this raw number is very, very bad. I mean, I don't know what to say other than we'll see what happens next week. Apparently, uh, I'd like to thank the chat. It was Messiah who lost his thumb. He used to to team with him. But uh, regardless of that, when it comes to the ratings, they could get lower. Maybe we have seen the bottom, but I, I just continue to maintain that the ultimate baseline of wrestling fans is around that 1.4 million people. That was the number for the uh, the network, for seemingly for some time. It was always the high of TNA. You know, always seemed to be the high end number between 900,000 and 1.4 million, and they rarely hit that. But that always just always felt like the baseline number to me around there. And I always thought it was a lot easier to judge the WWE number. Forget about all the ratings, all that other stuff. Whoever would be willing consistently to plunk down money for the the network seems to be around what I think the number for hardcores would be, and that seems to be meeting itself out. It certainly is no, uh, certainly there was no science involved, and it. it was just a gut feeling. And I don't know if next week is going to be lower, but it's certainly the case that I will continue to maintain that, especially if news breaks on Monday, we can absolutely see this number drop even lower and it's got nothing to do once again with the content that's actually on the screen now would that help if it was better absolutely but wwe's problem will continue to be their their lack of making new fans as bad as numbers always are the bottom line number for wwe is are they creating new fans and they just don't seem to be doing that no matter what the rating is on on monday night or on friday night